Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into Three Will Be Free. We're diving into episode six. That means we are past the halfway point of the series, and things are just, they're just getting spicy. They're just heating up. In episode five, it was all flashback, with the exception of like the last minute and a half, the last like scene. The entire thing was all done in flashback and it gave us a lot of just backstory on how Shin and Neo met. And y'all, it was the cutest damn thing, I swear to God. Like I said in that reaction, I can see exactly why Shin was having feelings for Neo. I could see why he fell for Neo because hell, I would have fall fallen for Neo too. There's so many ways that I relate to Shin. Um, and some of his mannerisms, some of his characterization, some of his just personality type. Not everything, but there are some things I definitely relate to him on it. Like, just the way that he was being treated by Neo in this in that episode through flashback. And, like, I can 100% see how he would develop certain feelings. And it's just like, or at least develop a crush or something. Because it's like, I, I'm, I got a crush on you too now, Neo. So... So super duper adorable, and at the end, um, our dynamic trios got back together. So we are going to see where the things of the things go now. Um, I don't know if we're going to. Sorry, my keys were on top of my um, headphones. I'm not sure if we're going to meet the. What was it, Boss John? I think. I don't know if we're going to meet him yet, or if this will be kind of like. A episode about the travel or the journey to get to him and whatnot and we face a couple more obstacles um, but I imagine we're probably going to meet him either if not this episode and the next episode sometime relatively soon because again we're past the halfway point so we've got to start ramping towards that big finale climax that we're working towards um, yeah so we're just going to dive on and see what happens it is currently raining outside so if you hear lots of noises or thunder or lightning or whatever well, you wouldn't hear lightning but that that's what I'm saying but let's just dive on in รายการต่อไปนี้เหมาะสําหรับผู้ชมที่มีอายุ Super adorable, like I said. Mm. And then this. Rude. Rude and disrespectful. ทำไมอ่ะเป็นผู้หญิงสนใจเรื่องรถไม่ได้เหรอเป็นผู้หญิงนี่มันต้องอ่านแต่พวกหนังสือธรรมหาร <coughs> โอ้โหจ้าๆๆแม่คนเก่งคิดว่าแค่อ่านหนังสือเนี่ยจะขี่บิ๊กไบค์ได้เลยเหรอบิ๊กไบค์มันอันตรายนะมิวชีวิตมันก็ต้องทําอะไรที่มันเสี่ยงบ้างอะไรบ้างมันจะได้มีสีสันมิวยังทําอะไรมันๆมั้งอ่ะ This nice cute romantic music I'm playing right now makes me want to. Yeah, I'm going to sort of ship them together but I 
Can't say that I've noticed him in the series yet, so that tells me something's happened at some point. Y'all cute. But again, I have not seen him in this series. The fact that she's on the run and she just slept with Shin last episode or the episode before tells me that. <coughs> Sorry. Tells me this one's not a fixture in her life anymore. Oh lord, what heartbreaking story I'm about to get. Some people just get seasick. It's not his fault. Oh, I'm gonna leave you up with Loy. With a ball, hi now, me, like that. One way, Ned. 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 One way, แต่มึงยังไม่ได้บอกกูเลยนะว่ามึงกับนายหัวจรรู้จักกันได้ยังไงก็เขาเป็นพี่ชายพ่อเลี้ยงกูอินเทอร์เรสติ้งแบบนี
พี่เกียร์ครับครับร้านอาหารกับบาร์พี่อ่ะโคตรสวยเลยอ่ะบรรยากาศก็ชิลติดริมทะเลด้วยแล้วก็ยังมีบังกะโลอีกผมอยากได้แบบนี้มากกว่าพี่เสียต่อเอาไม่อยากได้แล้วหรอพี่ทำไมอ่ะก็กูเบื่อแล้วไงกูทํามาหลายปีแล้วกูจะไปใช้ชีวิตกับเมียกูเมียกูเป็นคนเยอรมันกูจะบินไปเบอร์ลินเอ้ยโหยเรื่องของนอกมาอินเตอร์เนชั่นแนลเมริชผมต้องเก็บเงินก่อนนะพี่พี่อย่ามึงรีบขายขายละกันได้ได้เดี๋ยวกูขายให้มึงเลยราคาพิเศษราคาโพยหมิวได้พี่เอ้ยกูลืมเลยกูลืมเลยมาร้านกูต้องถ่ายรูป before after แล้วเดี๋ยวมึงสองคนกลับออกไปรับรองไม่เหมือนเดิมเดี๋ยวมึงเดี๋ยวกูทำให้มึงดูถ่ายรูปใช่ไหมครับขอติดชื่อร้านกูหน่อยนะเพราะมึงหน้าตาดีมึงยิ้มยิ้มเหมือนกูเป็นเพื่อนมึงอะแว่งยิ้มหน่อยอ่าแฮชแท็กโปรดักต์เพลย์เมนต์ผมคิดว่าเขาจะทำให้ได้ไหมผมทำให้ดูทำให้ดูเขียนลายเป็นกล้องบอกฉันว่าเป็นง่ายที่สุดที่จะถ่ายฉันบอกฉันว่าความสวยงามที่จะเกิดขึ้นเมื่อคุณทำมันผมสามารถแต่งเพลงได้โอเคฉันสามารถแต่งเพลงได้ด้วยความสวยงามมาแคร์นะถ่ายดีที่สุดพี่เออชิวะถ่ายแล้วปิ๊นเลยนะหมายนี้ไม่ต้องทันใจที่กูเขียนชื่อมึงสองคนไว้แล้วด้วยนะโยงแว่นหัวอีมิวฟาเดลเจ๋งว่ะพี่ยังไงอยากได้กูไม่ให้กูให้แต่ลูกช่วยเหลือไม่ได้หรอกตัวเองเอาตัวไม่รอดเลยแล้วมึงรู้ไหมไอ้เรื่องที่มึงก่อไว้ที่นี่เนี่ยคนแถวนี้ก็ยังมีทากันอยู่เลยแล้วมันมีใครรู้ความจริงไหมล่ะแม่ว่าจริงๆแล้วหนูต้องเจออะไรบ้างไอ้สิ่งที่ฉันทําในอดีตมันตามฉันทันแล้วนะแม่ฉันต้องสู้กับมันสักทีแล้วไงใจกูช่วยอะไรเงินกูก็ไม่มีร้านนี่ก็จะเจ๊งอยู่แล้วแม่ช่วยอะไรไม่ได้หรอกคนที่จะช่วยได้อะคือนายหัวจรอะไรนะนี่อีหมิวกูช่วยมึงให้รอดแล้วนะมึงจะวนกลับมาตายที่นี่ทําไมถ้าเขารู้เรื่องเขามึงตายแน่ยังไงหนูก็ต้องเสียงแม่เพราะมันเป็นทางเดียวที่ฉันจะรอดฉันไม่อยากหนีมันอีกแล้วนะแม่So did she actually do it? Because if y'all brought my fine ass baby pod in for one episode just to kill him off, I'm gonna be so upset. I hate it here. You talk about the price of buying a house like a stock market. You think you'll feel what you feel? Just tell me. This is the world of mine. 
เตือนละว่าพี่อย่ามาไอสิ่งที่ผมทำอ่ะผมทำจนชินละมึงคิดว่าเขาสมควรตายกันหรอเขาแม่งไม่ได้ทำอะไรผิดด้วยซ้ำอ่ะผิดเนี่ยสื่ออยากจะเป็นฮีโร่เองอยากจะปกป้องน้องไม่บอกเองว่าน้องมันอยู่ไหนควรตาย I mean he couldn't tell you where his brother was he didn't know where they went they took the car and left before you kidnapped him แล้วมันต่างอะไรกับสิ่งที่พี่ทำอยู่ตอนนี้ไอสิ่งที่พี่ทำอยู่ตอนเนี้ยคือการปกป้องคนที่พี่หลักปะวะสิ่งที่พี่ควรจะรู้สึกตอนเนี้ยไม่ใช่ความสงสารด้วยพี่มันควรจะเป็นความแค้นด้วยการมีคนไม่มีหัวใจนี่มันยากเนาะมึงทำได้ไงวะเติร์ดซีดิสฮัสอ่ะเวอร์อินทรีสติ้งคาแรคเตอร์อาร์คพอเทนเชียลของเธอเพราะว่าใช่แน่นอนการฆ่าคนที่ฆ่าคนนั้นเป็นปัญหาที่ยากที่สุดที่ฉันเคยเจอในชีวิตผม Thankfully, I've never had to do it. Knocks on all the wood around me that I never had to. But you know, that's that's one of those like circumstances in life that can change a person. Like, yes, there might be some people who you know it's like swatting a fly, swatting a mosquito to them, whatever. They have certain mentalities and whatnot. But like for that very first time through, it can change you. And she, like that conversation they just had there, where. He's like, you know what? You shouldn't be feeling sympathy. You should be feeling revenge because, like, basically, what there's a lot of similarities between what you're doing and what you're doing in pursuing these people, and you know, just the whole situation. So she ha it has the potential to either take her storyline in the direction where she will just get accustomed to this lifestyle. Um, not that she's going to be employed by Tana or who, whatever Daddy's name is, um, and you know, become an assassin or assassin or anything like that. But she might just be in this world long enough while trying to get this mission done that it changes her to the point that she is like him and it doesn't affect her, or it might take her on this sort of like forgiveness arc storyline where she's faced. With, you know, our trio, somewhere towards the end, and has the opportunity to kill them, and chooses empathy, sympathy, forgiveness. We might even get another flash from my poor sweet boy, who unfortunately did. Um, and like, you know, kind of like a guardian angel or something, come down, talk to her, and like, hey, this is not you, blah 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 blah. It could take a very interesting turn. There's a lot of A lot of ways this could go, and I'm interested to see where they decide to take her storyline. อย่าทําเหมือนว่าเราเป็นส่วนเกินหรือว่าเป็นคนนอกเป็นแค่ตัวประกันที่แกจับมาได้ได้ปะเราก็สัญญาเอาไว้ว่ามันจะไม่เกิดขึ้นอีกวันนั้นที่เรานัดอะทำไมถึงไม่มาติดลูกค้าแกน่าจะเข้าใจนะว่าสำหรับเราตอนนั้นเงินน่าจะสำคัญที่สุดเงินมันสำคัญสำหรับแกมากเลยใช่ปะแล้วความสุขคนที่รอไม่สำคัญเลยเหรอใช่ไหม
I mean, I understand both sides of the argument. Like, when you got bills to pay and funds are limited, you do what you gotta do to make money, but at the same time, like, a simple text could have been like, hey, I'm running late, or hey, I can't make it, you know, we could have avoided hurt feelings. ไม่ชอบมาคิดจะยอมหานี้ล่ะแบ็กสเปคไม่รู้เลยเนี่ยอือฮึดอนท์บีสตูปิดก็แค่อยากหาไม่แน่ใจเฉยๆอ่ะแ
Come on, karaoke. Picking on my poor baby. I mean, this is not helping. You're, you're not helping. I don't know why you keep coming for me like this. I mean, you're high right now, so you're probably not in the best state of mind either, but like... Like, I understand that right now they are not in the clearest frame of mind, but lord, they're making some awful decisions with the prior knowledge that they already have about how Shin feels. I mean, girl, yes, you don't have to Girl, yes, we all know that's why. You don't have to... Oh, Lord. Again, she's not in the right frame of mind right now. Well, if I'm easy to read, stop being so mean to me! Are we about to have a three way in this fucking ocean? God, if we have a fucking orgy right here in the ocean, I, I'm gonna be beside myself. Yeah, I guess you all have kissed each other. I don't know how to feel right now. Again, I realize that they're all under the influence of things right now, but... Lord. 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 Jesus. Lord. <coughs> you shall kill me! I haven't coughed in like four days. Okay, we good? We good now? Okay, we happy family again?
ว่าไงตีพี่หลวงผมมีข่าวดีมาบอกพี่วะข่าวดีอะไรของมึงวะมันดึกแล้วอย่าลีลาดิผมว่าผมเห็นพี่มิวกลับมาแล้วอ่ะพี่ไอ้เชียตี้มึงอย่ามาล้อเล่นดิถ้ามีเขากลับมาจริงเขาก็ต้องมาหากูก่อนดีวะผมพูดจริงพี่นี่ผมอยู่ร้านนี่เกียร์เนี่ยแต่มากับผู้ชายอีกสองคนนะพี่พี่มาดูเองดีกว่า I mean you expect him to just stand there the whole time and while he while he makes his way over to the restaurant I mean the way things were looking they were they were on the way to a bedroom or something yeah that's really good แคนนอนมินิโฟโต้ปรินเตอร์มินิไซส์พกไว้ปรินฟินเวอร์โอ้ did 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 things happen did things happen and y'all just I'm so upset right now y'all y'all don't let these things happen and not show me a goddamn thing I am rude rude and disrespectful being disrespected in my own home like this bullshit Never mind, I take it back. Oh, oh, that's all y'all can give me, bro. <sighs> Come on, short shorts. Yes. Come on, thick thighs. Yeah, I'm here. Hang lady. I'm going to see you. Did you take photos? You ever told me, right? That if I put a boy in the middle of a lot of people, he'll be so happy. It's over in the evening, Dad. He's got a head. บ่นแค่กูไม่ยุ่งของมึงอาโอเคโอเคกูไม่ยุ่งเรื่องของมึงก็ได้แต่มันมีอีกคนหนึ่งมาให้มึงเคลียร์ละเฮ้ยหลวงคิวดีนี่กลับมาทำไมไม่บอกเลยอะก็กะจะมาบอกกันแหละเห็นหลวงยุ่งไงที่หนึ่งมาที่เนี่ยเพราะว่าตั้งใจจะมาทำธุระตัวเองให้เสร็จอ่ะไม่ได้กะไม่อ
ต้นนุกนี้แม่งปิดมาตั้งนานแล้วกูไม่ได้ปิดนี่มึงคุณอะไรมึงแม่กูเป็นคนแบ่งกูออกมาไม่ได้เบ่งออกมาจากปากมึงถ้ามึงไม่มีพี่ชายกูคุ้มกระลาหัวมึงไม่ยืนต่อเปล่าอย่างนี้หรอกปากเดียวแล้วมันนี่So it's just cross. I know. Yeah, I already know. Then I already know. I mean, I could, I'd stab a bitch too. You ain't got no sympathy for me. Boss John might not see it this way, but it was self-defense. Win. Win. Neil. 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 What happened? You didn't come back, Dad. You didn't come back, Dad. But the cop came, Dad. You didn't come back, Dad. Neil. 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 I just told you. 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 ต้องอดศพของกูซ้อมไม่ให้ใครเห็นเข้าใจไหมมึงจะบอกคนอื่นยังไงอะแม่มึงไม่ต้องหมอกกูหรอกนะมันจะพยายามตอแหลมอยู่กูอยู่แล้วมึงต้องหมอกกูกลัวตัวรอดได้I was dragging the body. Okay, now that we can have this conversation when we're back in the house. Let's dig. Yes, like we're already this deep in right now. ที่นี่ไม่ได้แล้วนะมึงต้องไปอยู่ที่กรุงเทพกูมีเพื่อนเป็นเจ้าของร้านกูฝานมึงทำงานที่นั่นมึงไม่ต้องกลับมาจนกว่าลูกจะเงียบเข้าใจไหมแล้วแม่มึงไม่ต้องห่วงกูกูไม่ตายง่ายหรอกมึงจำไว้นะไม่มีใครรักเราจริงทุกคนจ้องผลผู้ชายจากเราโดยเฉพาะผู้ชายมึงต้องอยู่เหนือมันมึงจำข้างกูไว้นะ
เล่าให้หลวงฟังได้เสมอหลวงพร้อมจะช่วยมิวตลอดนะหลวงยังมาเสียงพ่อมิวเลยนะหลวงขอบคุณสำหรับทุกอย่างนะหลวงเป็นผู้ชายที่ดีที่สุดที่มิวเคยเจอมาเลยนะหลวง What makes me happy to see that nothing bad happened between her and him. It's just from the opening scene, he did seem like a nice guy. Yeah, but there's nothing you could do, and I don't want to put you in danger. นี่รู้ปะว่านายหัวเขาก็ถามหามิวตลอดนะแต่ว่าหลวงไม่ได้เล่าอะไรให้เขาฟังเลยแต่หลวงก็ได้ยินมาว่ามิวกับเสียธนาแล้วก็เรื่องรักพาตัวลูกชายของเขามันคือเรื่องจริงของมิว It's complicated เขาเรื่องนี้แหละผมเลยกลับมาที่นี่หนิวอยากให้หลวงพาหนิวไปหาในหัวจอนหน่อยได้ไหมหนิวแน่ใจแล้วเหรอมันเสี่ยงมากเลยนะหนิวก็รู้ว่านายหัวจอนเขารักน้องเขามากแค่ไหนอะชีวิตหนิวก็เกิดขึ้นที่นี่ถ้าจะพังก็ต้องพังที่นี่แหละจะอยู่ข้างๆหมิวเสมอนะไอชินอะยังหลับอยู่เลยมึงน่าจะยังแฮงอยู่นี่นีโอเพื่อนหมิวมาจากกรุงเทพอะนี่หลวงเขาเป็นเจ้าของอู่แล้วในตลาดหลวงเขาจะเป็นคนพาเราเข้าไปหาหมอจอนเมื่อก่อนเขาเคยทำงานขับรถให้หมอจอนเขาพาเราเข้าไปเจอได้มึงกูคุยส่วนตัวข้างนอกกันดิคุยอะไรวะเออนะอะไรของวะคุยอะไรแน่ใจไหมเนี่ยว่าไว้ใจเขาได้อะคนนี้ไว้ใจได้เชื่อกูเหอะเขาไม่มีทางหักหลังแล้วหรอกแล้วมึงจะให้ผมมั่นใจได้ไหมมึงมีอะไรมารับประกันมึงจำที่ผ่านมาไม่ได้หรอวะไว้ใจใครไม่ได้สักคนหนึ่งชิบหายกันหมดโอ้ยคนนี้หัวเก่ากูไม่ขายพวกเราหรอกนะอ๋อหัวเก่ามึงนี่เองหรือฟื้นความหลังไงมึงอะฮะมันก็เรื่องของกูปะเรื่องของมึงก็เรื่องของกูนั่นแหละกูแคร์ทั้งมึงทั้งชินนุ้ยกูแค่อยากถามให้มั่นใจว่าเราจะปลอดภัยจริงๆมึงชีวิตพวกเราตอนนี้แม่งมีอะไรที่เราจะเซ็นหัวแท็กซ์ในหัวครับไอหลวงมาขอพบครับหลวงชีวิตกูมีต้องหลายหลวงก็ไอหลวงที่เคยขับรถให้นายไงครับที่ตอนนี้มันเปิดอูอยู่เหรอแล้วมันมีอะไรอ่ะมันบอกว่ามันพาคนที่นายตามหามาเจอครับใน
ในหัวให้เข้าแหวงในได้หลวงงั้นเดี๋ยวหลวงรอที่นี่นะเดี๋ยวหมิวเข้าไปคุยกันในหัวข้างในแต่หลวงเชื่อหมิวนะยิ่งหลวงรู้น้อยมากเท่าไหร่ Hey, this w a m e ฉันก็ไม่ได้ไปไหนไกลเลยในหัวก็แค่ไปทำงานในกรุงเทพเองทำงานอะไรของมึงเหรอตำรวจเขาตามหาตัวไปในควักเรื่องของมึงของเพื่อนมึงกับเสียนาเข้าหูกูก่อนที่มึงจะเยี่ยมแรมกูอีกอเมนแต่ฉันคงไม่ต้องเล่าอะไรมากแล้วใช่ไหมฉันมีข้อเสนอมาแล้ว Again did we make a copy of this flash drive สัตว์ใดเนี้ยมีข้อมูลของเสียธนาทั้งหมดทั้งธุรกิจผิดกฎหมายที่มันทำการเลี้ยงภาษีคนที่มันสั่งเก็บทุกอย่างที่จะทำให้ในหัวเอาชนะมันได้อยู่ในนี้หมดละมึงต้องการอะไรจากกูเงินก้อนหนึ่งที่จะพอทำให้พวกฉันหนีได้แล้วก็ทำให้พวกฉันมั่นใจว่าขั้วของเสียธนามันจะไม่ตามมาเจอเรื่องของเสียธนาเนี่ยกูโอเคนะแต่มีอีกเรื่องหนึ่งที่กูอยากรู้ That's that's fair. Nong Chai Gu, Pa Liang, where? You know. I don't know anymore. I forgot where where we left him. Nong Chai, in my head, is dead. Okay. I guess okay. Come out with it. Honestly, it's the best policy. I'm being on calm, and maybe not while he holding that knife, but you know, okay. Okay, girl. I guess. Pop off, girl. You want up? Take a do. Manjai. She said, "If I'm going out, I guess I'm going out with clean slate." SM two plus. Oh, poor baby over here now. <laughs> Oblivious is all hell. Like, oh yes, I got me some last night. I'm not a virgin anymore. What the what, what the fuck? Where did everybody go? A drink, goddamn it! เรากับมิวไปทำธุระกันนะเดี๋ยวกลับมาหาอะไรทำไปก่อนห้ามหนีไปไหนทีมเดียวกันแล้วนะ The bitch don't leave. 
We all done had this sex now, so d don't leave. Of course, my ass would have jumped straight to conclusion, like, oh shit, they went to go see Boss John without me. That's that's where my brain would have went. Forever, these pants are fitting beautifully. Hashtag product placement. Come on, girl. Pretty yo face. Had some fun shenanigans with him and you like 10 minutes ago. I, I would be all for this shit. ผมลองเล่นคุณผมหมายถึงว่าถ้าคุณอยากว่าน่ะคุณไม่ใช่ไปขอเขาเอางี้ผมเป็นคนแถวนี้เดี๋ยวผมไปขอให้โอเคป่
you. Child, so so many things, so many things happened. Lord Jesus, so many things happened in this episode. It makes me just want to dive straight to the next episode because I'm like, Lord. Um, so, when it comes to Boss John. He kind of went, like, once I realized that Mew was going to just admit everything, I didn't realize she was going to be so blatant with her admission. I didn't think she was going to be like, yeah, I killed him. He dead, girl. Like, I, I, I thought maybe there'd be a little bit more finesse to how she was saying things, or, you know, maybe a little bit gentler of an approach to kind of ease him into the idea that um, his brother is dead. But she's just like, nope. If I'm gonna die, then I'm, I'm gonna go out with a clean slate. I'm like, okay, I respect it. I respect it. Not everybody in Boss John's position would have um, as much sympathy or empathy um, for the person who just who they've just found out killed their brother, who what we've been told he loved um, in abundance. Um, and had this not been. Like, had Mew not been one of our three protagonists of the series, this very easily could have been a situation in, like, millions of other series or movies or whatever where, okay, you wronged my family or you pissed me off, you did something to hurt me, and just no nonsense. Okay, you killed my brother, bam, I'm gonna take out your whole family. He very easily could have killed her right there in the kitchen and called it a day. Or he could have killed her right there out at the where they buried it, buried his brother called it a day and then gone found her mama killed her too blah 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 We've seen it a million times in all kinds of movies and series and whatnot like so he very easily could have gone down that sort of path where it's like okay i have zero tolerance you you've wronged me so i'm going to make you suffer for it blah 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 but they took him down this interesting the path that i was talking about with may like this interesting sort of not exactly the same path but this path of sort of forgiveness versus revenge and it's interesting like obviously I expected Mew to live at least through to the final episode like if she does die if anyone if any of our main trio dies or anything happens to them I don't expect that to happen until we get to the final episode maybe end of episode nine into the final episode but yeah i didn't expect her to any like harm to come to her in this episode um but i also didn't expect the admission to come quite as soon maybe it was going to linger into the next episode or something um but yeah so i i didn't expect her to die so since the admission did come out i was hoping slash imagining that that was the route they were going to take it um, and it's, again, it's a very interesting way to take it, um, turns Boss John into not just your stereotypical mob leader or gangster or whatever, you know, whatever he is in this instance. Um, yes, very feared, very well respected amongst the people in the community, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, he has some, some level of a conscience, I guess you can say, some level of conscience where it's like, okay yes, I'm upset that my brother is gone, but at the same time, I can mentally separate my feelings of sadness and hurt that he's gone from the facts of the situation, and I can see, okay, she was just a scared girl who was about to be raped. A scared girl who was about to be attacked, and she did what she had to do to survive. Did she mean to kill him? No, it was self-defense. But I can see that. So it's this nice, it's just this nice, interesting character development for Boss John. Um, that being said, 
we still have four episodes left, so that that could all be a ploy. It could all be a ploy to gain some leverage in something else or another, or maybe he's going to plan to kill her later. And who knows? Who knows where this is going to go? But still, like for right now, where we are in the story, I find it like an interesting choice to make him that sort of rational, empathetic, and it like even if you know, I don't live in the mob world. I subscribe to any of that kind of stuff. I have no desire to be involved in it in any way, shape, or form. Um, but, like, to me, I feel like I've seen so many movies or series, not even just BL or international, I think, just in general dealing with, like, mobs, gangs, and all this other kind of stuff, or just people, businessmen, people in leadership roles, where it's like, you know, you expect the leader not to let emotions cloud their judgment and interfere with business like yes we're all humans at the end of the day and you know we all feel kinds of all kinds of things but like you expect them to be able to think with a level head and not get clouded by personal feelings and vendettas so to me that moment there for boss john makes me feel like okay he even though he is in the mafia or whatever he's doing and it's not my world it's not my cup of tea he's showing me that he is a sound leader in that aspect where yes this was as personal as you could probably get of a vendetta but he's still able to rationally separate his feelings from logic and like okay i can understand what happened here and it's it's unfortunate that it had to come to this but at the end of the day i understand what happened here and even issued an apology like i apologize for him blah 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 so it's like it's interesting interesting character development for him and now that he is not the big bad scary man who's potentially going to kill her like we thought i can look at him as just a, a cute individual and how you doing boss john and ship myself with boss john how you doing <laughs> oh, you want to cook me something in that massive kitchen you got I'll, 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 I'll cook you something like we could take turns so. um but yeah so interesting development with boss john although that last scene we had there where shin got drugged and kidnapped who fucking knows like was that one of boss john's men and they're kidnapping him for some sort of leverage or whatever was that one of tana's men and they're kidnapping him to take him back so that once they find um you and neo they can just kill them on sight um is it is it just someone who saw the news and was like oh shit well i want to get me some reward money who knows who know? I mean, y'all probably know because y'all have seen the series at this point, but for me, like, who knows who the hell this was and what connection he has to any of them, if any at all. Um, so that's just an interesting little variable we threw into the mix there. Um, yeah, so in this episode, we got a lot of backstory from you and why she ended up leaving, why she ended up being in Bangkok working at the bar where she was working lots of great backstory lots of great development and i liked i liked seeing the contrast in the relationship between her and her mother now versus in the flashback we got there and i'm really god we really glad we did get that flashback because all this time so far in the series that we've like seen her mother or we've heard her mother on the phone or something it seems to have always been a very sort of dismissive oh yeah you're you're a failure oh you only call me for money or you know I, I can't help you blah 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 oh now you have the police looking for me you're a failure of a daughter you know she didn't say those exact words but you know that kind of stuff over the phone and just feels very dismissive even though we saw the little flashback of her getting attacked prior and we have the inkling that she did kill whoever her attacker was i don't remember if in the flashback we got like episode one or two whenever we did get that flash um if they made it known that that was her stepdad or if that was just some guy who came and was attacking her um i, I don't remember because it's been a little while since i watched those episodes um but even now i all the interactions we've had with her mom have been very from the perspective of, oh her mom is just so disappointed in her daughter and everything she does but that one interaction we had with them through the flashback where she came home found her husband on the ground dead and her hysterical daughter like i didn't kill him i didn't kill him he was gonna attack me i didn't kill him he was gonna attack me um blah blah blah, blah. and she's like look tell me what happened 
okay, we have to hide this body. We, we got to get rid of this. Nothing. Don't you worry about me. Your mama can lie her way out of, a, out of, out of, out of I can handle myself. Don't worry. Um, and we, I'm going to send you off with one of my friends. She's going to get you a job over in Bangkok, blah, blah, blah. You can't stay here until things blow over, blah, blah, blah. Like it felt very much like a concerned mother, not just looking out for herself. Because she very easily could have, like, you know, turned her daughter into boss John or something. Like, she did it, I didn't do it, blah, 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 if she was really in it for herself. But, she, no, in that moment, she seemed like a very concerned mother who was like, you know what? We're going to take care of this, and I'm going to just, you're going to go away. You're going to go away until this blows over, and blah, 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 blah. And don't forget my words. Don't you forget, men will do nothing. They want nothing from us but to use us. And, you know, you got to stay one step ahead of them at all times, blah, 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 blah. Like, you can see some of the reasons why her characterization was the way it was in reference to, like, some of her clients and whatnot in the earlier episodes. Um, and, like, it was just a very nice moment. Well, not nice, but as far as, like, the bond between her and her mother, like, it was... A nice moment that made me question like all the other interactions we've seen with her mother because like as we saw here her mother sent her out of town to protect her got her job to protect her this that and the other all the stuff to protect her so like i'm thinking and it may not be the case but i'm thinking like all the interactions we've seen with mom which is like oh you you only call for money or blah 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 blah, blah. might have been under the guy i said okay there was someone around maybe someone around and she's just keeping up appearances that she's disappointed in her daughter this that and the other because she's wanting her or maybe she's you know saying it on purpose but she's wanting her daughter to stay away not wanting her daughter to come here and you know potentially risk being in danger blah blah blah, blah. um and that may not be the case at all that could be you know a stretch on my point on my part but still it was just nice to see that sort of contrast between what we've seen of her relationship with her mother and what happened that day when she was attacked and how her mother went into fix it mode like we're gonna fix this we're gonna save you blah 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 i thought it was nice nice interesting contrast there um what else what else um we had i already talked about um may and tour and that conversation so i won't dive into that um again we had the sweet boy sweet sweet man um who um muse x um Luang, maybe who i'm so happy that he did not turn out to be mischievous or a bad guy or something like that because i was worried i was worried y'all manner of death fucked me up like i already had trust issues but now i, I can't trust anybody in any series i've watched anymore because of that damn series um but yes, he seemed like, from the flashback we had at the very beginning of the episode, he seemed like such a nice guy, and like he genuinely cared about her. So since we had not heard a single thing about him this entire series, it made me worried that either there was some falling out for some reason, he is no longer alive for some reason, or, you know, I was just worried, blah, blah, blah. So, no, we saw, again, in flashback that she left because her mother sent her out of town because of what was happening, and she did get a chance to say goodbye. Um, even though she couldn't explain what was going down, she still got her a little chance to say goodbye. It's like, you know, if I survive this, I hope that we meet again. And it's just, like, he obviously meant a lot to her, and she meant a lot to him. It's unfortunate that, because <clears throat> um, you can still kind of see it in his eyes that she means a lot to him, even though, I forget how long she's been gone. But even though, you know, he's she's been gone for God knows how, well, we know how long. She's been gone for however long she's been gone. Um, but she still means a lot to him what i say that their relationship or that his feelings for her are exactly the same that he's still so in love with her like he was before she left i don't know about that but she still holds a special place in his heart so it's unfortunate that you know she had to leave and then now she's getting some i don't know if she's getting feelings per se for um neo i definitely wouldn't say she's got feelings for shin Maybe she does, who knows. But I don't know that she necessarily has feelings, feelings for Neo, as it is just like some level of attraction. Like there's obviously physical attraction there, but also maybe some sort of just 
attraction from having, you know, being in this situation together. Um, nothing bonds you like being in a life or death situation with somebody. Um, so that, the adrenaline of all that, and just, you know, gets the blood pumping and, you know, she's got this attraction. Um, do I think she loves Neo? No. Do I think Neo loves her? No. Do I think she loves Shin or Shin loves her? No. Do I think Shin loves Neo? Uh, I don't know. Do I think he has feelings? Yes, he absolutely has feelings. Hardcore crush. He's been crushing for the longest time. It was his first fucking kiss, y'all. So he, he, he's been crushing for the longest time. And I feel like once you have that sort of crush for so long, so long, you can make yourself believe that you were in love with the person. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And, you know, sometimes, you know, you realize that it wasn't love. Sometimes it is love. So is he in love with Neo? I don't know. But regardless of what the emotional I don't remember what my thought process was we were talking about boyfriend or ex-boyfriend guy yeah so I was saying it was unfortunate that she was you know starting to have feelings for Neo at this point just to come back and um, see her ex who clearly has feelings for her and she might have some level of feelings for him um, but then I was thinking out loud that you know I don't necessarily know that she and Neo have like feeling feelings as it is just some sort of mutual attraction right now that could grow into like lovey-dovey kind of feelings but i don't i don't see i don't feel the love love right now i feel the lust i feel the desire i feel the attraction and you know the comfort of around one another growing um and i ship it i should i ship it all I ship all three of them um but i don't necessarily i wouldn't say it's love yet um yeah and then we had sexy time. We had sexy time, y'all. And at first, I was upset because they didn't show me anything. And I was like, this is rude and disrespectful. How y'all gonna have three fine ass, gorgeous ass people doing the do? The first series I've seen, I think, that it's had like, I'm gonna say bisexual representation. Maybe it's, maybe they're bisexual. Maybe they're just love is love. Maybe they're just having the sex because they're, they're whatever. I don't know. But it's the first time I've seen like a, a mixed gender um, three way entanglement happen in one of these series that I've watched on the channel. So I was like, y'all gonna have that for the first time, and y'all ain't gonna show me a damn thing. You got three fine ass people, and y'all ain't gonna show me nothing. Not not a nip slip. Not a a thigh being caressed. Nothing. But, as the episode went on, they gave us, like, little flashes here and there. Like, each person's waking up, and they're like, oh, shit, what happened? Oh, shit, that happened. Oh, damn. That was a good-ass brownie. Shit. Wonder if, wonder if you want to give me that recipe real quick. Like, you know, each person. So we get little flashes through, <laughs> through, through each of their eyes. It's like, okay, I see a little bit here. So I like how they did that. They didn't just give me, like, one just big old gratuitous scene of just... But you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I love gratuitous nudity, for Jesus. But they they did it in a way that was instead of just like one big punch to your face, look at all this sex. They're like sexy, sexy, sprinkle, sprinkle, sexy, sprinkle. It's like okay, cute, cute, cute. I like it. Yes, like I said, obviously they were all under influences. Um, and we've had various conversations throughout various series about these these things. Um, so I'm not going to get too deep into any of these conversations right now. Y'all can watch any of my other damn reactions and go into those. Go get that speech. Um, but... See, I don't... And this is why I almost don't, this is why like, I go on these consent speeches so often. Like, I, I don't have any issues with what they showed me there. I don't have any issues with what blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I don't really have any issues. Um, but that sort of line of consent gets blurred a lot when, because like, us as outsiders looking in, obviously I know Shin would want to do anything this far when Neo came to the picture. Um, 
Neo and Mew have already done stuff, so they're comfortable doing stuff to one another. Um, so do I think that this three-way could have happened soberly between the t three of them? Yes. Would it have happened at this point in the series? Maybe not. They might have needed a little bit more time together. But I, I could foresee them doing the do all three of them. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but... Like when you... I'm trying to choose my words carefully. Um, when you start mixing the alcohol and the drugs and all this kind of stuff and like yes I get this stuff happens in real life and you know blah 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 people have flings and wall wide you know that's cool um, but at the same time like with this series I don't necessarily know that like I think I have BL in my hashtags but I don't I don't even know if it's technically a BL series at this particular point because like it's just it's just the three of them they've just got this sort of just triad happening here um, but like in other series that I've watched on the channel, you know, obviously BL series and whatnot, um, they, one of issues that I've had whenever it's come to like them showing these sort of things under like alcohol fueled eyes or drug fueled eyes or blah, 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 is that it's usually the first instance when something goes down between the people. And I'm like, ah, it's not that I have an issue with them showing me that. It's just that since it is the first time I would love it to be sober so that nobody can come back the next day and be like, oh, I was drunk and I didn't mean that. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, that, that I wasn't in the right state of mind. I, I didn't mean for that to happen. I just, I don't want there to be any excuses. I want everyone to be on the same page and say, yeah, I fucking did that last night. We, we, we had the sex last night because I wanted to, not because I was in some weird head space and this, that, and the other. So that's that that's the only thing the only reason i keep having these conversations um not because i have issues with the content being shown or blah 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 but where it's like i hate for the first time to be under these sort of not clear-headed moments so like they have an excuse if they need to take an excuse later and be like yep i i did that because i wasn't in the right frame of mind that's the only thing um but yeah, they did it. They did the things, um, and I, I, I was beside myself. I didn't, I didn't know what to do with myself. Every time I turn around, somebody is kissing somebody else or touching somebody somewhere. I'm like, okay, finally, I've, I've, I've come to peace. And then they give me another flashback, and they start. And the way Mew and Neo were looking at Shin when they flashed back to them in the bedroom and they threw him on that bed and they took his glasses off and they took it like they were looking at him like he was a piece of meat and they were about to tag team devour that ass and I'm like you know what I'm not mad about it I ain't mad about it but like y'all I'm, I'm clutching things I'm running out of things to drink I'm I'm, I'm I'm like what I don't know what to do with myself too much is happening right now thank god my background didn't fall down like it's done in the past I'm just like lord Jesus y'all need to calm the fuck down lord um, it was a time it was a dandy little time that we had there it, it was quite the episode so many things happened in this episode quite quite the episode indeed and then we had the cutie my little cutie uh, top tap top top tap I believe um, I know him from Ton Ton Hon Chon Liti. Um, him and Mike, cute cute little couple in that series. I feel like I've seen them in another series together as well. Um, I don't know, but cutie, cutie, my sweet little boy. Um, I I would ship him with Shin all day every day. Um, because he's he's adorable. He seemed he seemed sweet. Who knows? Maybe he was a devil in disguise, and maybe he's the person who hired whoever to drug Shin up at the end and kidnap him. Who fucking knows? Who knows? Maybe he's dead already. Who knows? But he seems sweet. He seems sweet, and I would totally ship him and Shin together. It, it felt like a very cute little romantic comedy kind of meeting that they had there. It was cute. But yeah, it, there, lots of things happened this episode, and I, I, I'm kind of wanting to just dive into the next episode. Um, but I also planned to look at uh, To My Star 2 and Word of Honor again in this session. 
don't know. We'll see. If you see me wearing the same shirt in the next episode, my reaction to episode 7, then you know what happened. And if not, well, then you know what happened. Anyway, I babbled enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.